What's going on guys? All right, so ever since I saw the Whistling Diesel video where he attempted the side-by-side -side swing, I've been wanting to try it. He, he stated like multiple times that it couldn't be done or whatever. Well, today we learned a valuable lesson. Do not make an RZR swing that mounts to the hubs of your RZR and uses the belt to, to swivel it in a 360 degree motion. That does not work. Don't try it because it will cost you many dollars. I just thought like, and respectfully, like I'm a huge fan of Whistling Diesel and I think everything he does is awesome. But uh, I felt like there's lots of things that he could have improved on, which I'm going to try and do today. I'm sorry my tires are loud guys, but I'm on my way to get the steel. It's pretty cold this morning here in middle of nowhere, Missouri. Uh, but we're gonna make this thing happen. All right, material is loaded up. It's time to go build this thing. Hopefully, it's been a long day so far. Uh, hopefully we have this thing flipping by by dark. All right, so I got the material picked up and it is time to start building this thing. And I'm, I'm going back and forth. Do I put it out into the field to where if things go wrong, I would have a softer landing or do I build it right here on my wash pad so I can anchor it to the ground, everything will be secure. But if things go wrong, I could hit the, my shop or hit the concrete, you know, haven't decided yet. I'm gonna try and flip my razor, mainly because it has portals on it. It's super low geared and it has heavy duty clutches in it. So I'm hoping it'll just whip the razor right around. I considered doing this machine because it would definitely be lighter, but without the portals, I'm concerned that maybe it won't flip. This material that I'm using is left over from a job site. Um, so it's got, it's not perfect. That's why it's got different tabs. All right, I got the, man, I look rough. I got like the main rig tacked together, stitched together a little bit. Woo, all right, so I got the frame pretty well built, welded out. It's time to start going vertical. All right, you guys, I got the frame pretty well built and welded out. It's time to start going vertical. Well, all the hard work's pretty well done. It's just time to see if it'll do it. Do what? I can't adjust the forks without the windshield being closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that too. All right, well, today is the day. It's go time. We're gonna flip the uh, the rig upright, the swing, and let's see what, <laughs> see what happens. I'm, I'm definitely nervous, guys. Uh, after seeing it, it's a lot bigger and sketchier than I thought. We're gonna attempt to pull it with the Mega so it comes down, but then the skid steer is gonna let it down slowly because we're afraid like if this was a slam, uh, it might just break the studs off and then we're done. Buddy, look, I'm not a photographer or anything, but I'm just telling you what needs to happen. I can tell anybody else up here with me. Maybe somebody can hold this. Do it again. Because I'm more, I can just stomp it when it's right there. Yeah, but you're not under load. 
I bet you anything. You take that off right now. Put those tires on it, and you go out here and try to mash across this field. I bet it cuts up. I know for a that's fact a lot it will. easier said than done. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> in, it'll fucking cut out. I promise. But the, I will say the thing about it is that rig looks pretty sturdy. Yeah. Are right, you rolling? Get her up to about 175, and then I'll. He's got an adrenaline rush going. Fuck. What's happening? Things are happening. Thank Things you. are happening. God dang, thank God you guys got a good camera girl. <laughs> Imagine you had 60% for Dude. or something. <laughs> so it was gas, 100% gas. Yeah. Anthony, move your phone down just a little bit. That was a lot more difficult and sketchy than I imagined. <laughs> but it's done. Guys, so all the hard work paid off. Uh, took everybody out to grab some Mexican and some margaritas to celebrate and uh, just to tell everybody thank you for all the help. Cause it, dude, it, it, took, it took way more than just me to be able to make this happen. And thank you to everybody who helped. Uh, it means a lot to me, man. Um, but a uh, little bit of stuff to clean up. So I only ended up making one full rotation because midway, well, first of all, it was sketchy, but midway I heard a loud pop. And I wasn't sure what it was, but it was actually this driver's side portal locked up. Um, we're just lucky that we ended up making the full rotation to get get one flip out of it. Ian, Roger, and everybody. I appreciate everybody so much to make this thing happen. Um, you know, we'll get that bad boy up and running in no time. Couple uh, huge shout outs, man. Whaley Welding and Fab, first of all. My wife, um, Boss Whiskey Biz on TikTok. It's time for an outro. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't really have one ready, but how about uh, In God We Trust? In Your Mom We Trust. Let's go, boys. <laughs> so real quick, guys, I'm not trying to make my page or my channel or any of my content really like uh, stunt, uh, stunt man based or stunt, I don't know what you want to call it, daredevil based or anything like that. I'm a side by side guy, I love outdoors, I love, uh, I love building stuff and doing cool shit. So I'm not like, uh, trying to do that type of thing, but that was just one of those things, man, that I saw whistling decent doing, and I was like, I think I can do it better. So um, that's it. If you think of something that you'd like to see me try, let me know. We might just be able to make it happen. <laughs>